DepEd prescribed EIPCRF for school year 2020 to 2021. To access the link, you need to use your DepEd email. Under the description box below, nandiyan yung link to download the files. Step 1. Open the DepEd prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4 for school year 2020 to 2021. Step 2. Enable macros. Click Enable Editing and Enable Content. Take note that the process of enabling macros may differ in different versions of MS Excel. Number 3. In the encoding tab, accomplish part 1 starting with a field for teacher, division, and school information. You need to read the instructions carefully. Enter the needed information by either typing it in the empty cells or by clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the demographic information applicable to you. So let's try to answer the following. So the date of review is there is a format suited for that. The date must start from February 1, 2020. Okay, so let's do it again. So just leave it blank first. Region, may drop down arrow. You can choose what region do you belong. Division, just like for example, mine is... Bacoor City, and then Municipality, the same thing. School ID, example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. School name, National High School, school type, drop down, urban or rural, you can choose. And then school size, small, medium, large, very large. And then curriculum classification, so grade 7 and grade 10. So, after cl answering the curricular classification, let's go back now to level thought. So, yun lang pwedeng ma-access ulit yun level thought after completing the curricular classification. And then, grade level thought and subject thought. Okay, next. Number of years in teaching. Okay, you can choose highest degree obtained. Bachelor's degree, master's degree, and then next, your, if it's elementary education or secondary education, and next is area of specialization, you can choose here, for example, is values education. Now, we are done with the demographic profile. Let's proceed now to the next step. Step 4. Continue accomplishing Part 1. Appropriate to your position in the encoding tab. Encode the COT rating per observation period by doing the following steps. You need to select the subject or the discipline related to your subject for COT or the classroom observation tool. 
input the COT rating per objective. And code date of observation, click lock COT button once finished. Provide a single password for COT1 and 2 to protect your data. And the password should be minimum of 6 characters. With which to lock this file, certain actions will henceforth require you to enter the password you input here to proceed. Take note and always remember your password. After completing the COT1, you need to lock it. Enter a password. Remember your password. Example 123456 and then confirm password 123456 and then go. So it's already locked. And then now let's proceed to COT2. So the same thing. The subject na pina uh, observahan mo. And then, you just copy the ratings. Okay, there you go. And then, the date. Kung kailan ka na observahan, just look at your COT tool. Step 5. Finish accomplishing part 1 of the encoding tab. And code all other IPCRF numerical ratings for Q, E, and T. Input name and position of approving authority. So that is your school head. When COT and QET ratings are encoded and checked to its accuracy, click Finalize Part 1. Provide the same password. Click Go, then click OK in the dialog box that will appear. Give the file to the teacher concerned, who then accomplishes Part 2 in the encoding tab. Development plan in the Part 4 sheet of the file. There you go. Next. Lock COT2. The same password. Kaya dapat malaman nyo po ulit, maalala nyo ang inyong passwords. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go. Next, we're done with your COT1 and COT2. Let's proceed now to your IPCRF numerical ratings. So, ito ay nasa portfolio nyo na yan. So, depending na yan sa portfolio. Okay, let's just uh, do it. Okay. Example. Next is approving authority. So, kung ikaw ay teacher 1 to 3, ang yung approving authority is your principal or kung meron kang assistant principal. Okay. And then after that, let's check first. Baka meron tayo nakakaligtaan, sagutan. Just like the no more. Okay. So, let's finalize 
part 1. Just click it. But we need to add the date pa pala. So, let's try to... So, the date of review, meron tayong format, year, month, and date. So, manghula na lang tayo. Kunyari is 2021. And then, okay. So, now, after that, finalize part 1. And then, remember your password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go. Okay. So, success. Your data is saved. Okay. Now, let's go now to the next step. Step 6. Answer the core behavioral competencies part 2 of the encoding tab. Tick the box of the behavioral indicators that you demonstrated during the performance cycle. After that, you need to click Finalize Part 2 when you are done to save your data. Take note, supply a password to further protect your data, and then click OK. Pagkatapos natin ma-accomplish yung ating uh, core behavioral values, so let's finalize it. The rate must enter a password minimum of 6 characters. Okay, so I guess hindi na natin gagamitin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kasi yung kanina sa rater. Ito ngayon yung rate So let's try to uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, that is for our password and then go. And then kapag nakapink na yan, finalize na yon. Step 7. You can view your IPCRF part 1 to 3 sheets. After step 6, the results of all encoding done in the encoding tab appear in parts 1 to 3 sheets. Check on all contents of these sheets. These sheets are protected from any editing. Step 8. Update your development plan in the Part 4 sheet. This sheet is not protected from any editing. You may add rows if necessary. You then, click Finalize Part 4 if done. Supply the same passwords as the one used to finalize Part 2 of the encoding tab. Then, click Go, then OK. Parts 1 to 4. Click Print Parts 1 to 4. The teacher must ensure his or her computer is connected to the printer using the File and Print options in MS Excel. He or she must print all the pages of this form. Complete all the required signatures and submit to the personnel division of the school to be attached to his 201 personnel file. 
And last step, you need to submit the soft copy of the IPCRF electronic form to your rater or school head for the school-wide consolidation. You need to use the following format in naming the file. 